Scylla. I knew you when you woke with the early morning mists, eager to brave the waves, loving the way the salt water slicked your skin and glistened. You told me it made you feel beautiful. But somewhere in those ventures far from shore, that guppy-legged Glaucus caught sight of you and fell in love. Went to the drug-dealing enchantress Circe, that same witch who filled a full island with men transmuted into pigs. And he begged of her a rohypnol love potion. You wisely fled, and you couldn't know that Circe would grow mad with jealousy, would creep spider-like with a vial of poison to the waters where you bathed. Scylla, what did you see in the poisoned reflection of that pool? As the toxin seeped into your skin, did you see your legs splitting open into so many vine-line limping threads that it felt impossible to stand? Did you hear hounds howling from your waist, pulling you in every direction, frothing in ravenous mouths, threatening to devour from within Scylla? Did she make you believe you were a monster? Did you think... You were half woman and half beast, always pulled in all directions, torn into pieces by your own uncontrollable body, Scylla. Don't you see? All these monstrous things you saw inside yourself were only ever illusions. Circe's jealous toxins only ever hallucinogens, her amnesiacs flowing into your bloodstream until you forgot who you really are. Scylla, you have always been beautiful. But this poison is strong. You've been trying so hard to find an antidote, and it's not just for you anymore. Circe's bestial feast has been spread before us, and now it is rare to find men walking as men. We are expected to be swine. Circe casts her spells from the covers of magazines, from television screens, from a churning sea of advertising. She has made animals of us all, and Circe's toxins have flown from your pool into the wellspring. Now, a generation of daughters stare into a poisoned reflection, seeing something monstrous in themselves, convinced that they are unworthy of salt water and sun glistening on their skin. Scylla. I don't have an answer. Scylla, this poison has gone deep. I keep wanting you to hear me, but I'm so scared it might be too late. Scylla, please try to listen. I'm begging you to believe. You have always been, and you always will be, Beautiful.